time in a cozy cottage there lived a mother pig with her three little pigs the pigs were named Tom Tim and Jim they were playful and curious little pigs one day mother pig called her little pigs and said you are all grown up now my dears it's time for you to go out into the world and build your own houses she continued with their mother's blessing, the three little pigs set off on their journey to build their own homes. They were excited and determined to make the best houses they could. The first little pig found a field of straw and decided to build his house with it. He thought it would be quick and easy to build. The second little pig found a pile of sticks and decided to build his house with them. He thought it would be stronger than the straw house. The third little pig found a pile of bricks and decided to build his house with them. He knew it would take longer, but it would be the strongest house. The first little pig quickly built his house of straw, feeling pleased with his work. He was sure it would protect him from the wolf. The second little pig built his house of sticks, thinking it was stronger than straw. He was happy with his sturdy house made of sticks. The first two pigs quickly finished their straw and stick houses and were relaxing, lying down, and laughing. They laughed at the third pig because he was still working hard on his house, which was taking a long time to finish. The third little pig built his house of bricks, working hard every day to complete it. He knew it would be strong and safe from the wolf. One day, the big bad wolf came along and saw the first pig's house of straw. He decided to huff and puff and blow the house down. The wolf took a deep breath and huffed and puffed with all his might. The straw house shook and trembled until it collapsed. With a final huff and puff, the wolf blew the straw house down. The first little pig ran to his brother's house as fast as he could. The first little pig arrived at his brother's house, panting and out of breath. He told his brother about the wolf and how his house was blown down. The wolf soon arrived at the second little pig's house of sticks, eyeing it hungrily. He was determined to blow this house down too and catch the pigs. The wolf took a deep breath and began to huff and puff at the stick house. The house shook and trembled, but it didn't collapse immediately. With another deep breath, the wolf huffed and puffed at the stick house again. The house shook and trembled even more, but still stood firm. With a final huff and puff, 
The wolf blew the stick house down. The two little pigs ran to their brother's house as fast as they could. The two little pigs arrived at their brother's house of bricks, panting and out of breath. They told him about the wolf and how their houses were blown down. The wolf soon arrived at the third little pig's house of bricks, eyeing it hungrily. He was determined to blow this house down too and catch the pigs. The wolf took a deep breath and began to huff and puff at the brick house. The house shook slightly, but it stood firm against the wolf's breath. With an even deeper breath, the wolf huffed and puffed harder at the brick house. But the brick house stood strong, not budging an inch against the wolf's breath. The wolf became frustrated and angry, huffing and puffing with all his might. But no matter how hard he tried, the brick house would not fall. Exhausted and defeated, the wolf finally gave up and walked away from the brick house. The three little pigs cheered and celebrated their victory over the big bad wolf. They talked about their adventure and what they had learned from it. They realized that taking the easy way out wasn't the best choice. They learned the importance of hard work, perseverance, and building strong foundations which pays off in the long run. The three little pigs celebrated their victory over the wolf, feeling proud and happy. They danced and sang, knowing that their hard work had paid off. Hi kids, I'm Sparkle the Unicorn. What do you think the pigs learned? Think about how hard work and planning can help you in your own lives. What did you think about the pig's journey? Did you learn something new? How would you have built your houses? What might you have done differently? Think about how you can use hard work and planning in your own lives. Can you share examples of times when you worked hard and achieved something great? Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Keep working hard. Remember, just like the pigs, you can achieve great things with perseverance. Building strong foundations may take more time and more work but it is worth it in the long run. Goodbye for now. Always work hard and plan well. I'll be back with more stories and lessons to help you grow and learn. Hey kids, how did you like the story? Which part of the three little pigs was your favorite? Was it the building of the houses or the big bad wolf? What did you find the most exciting? Do you have any thoughts on the story? My favorite moment was when the third pig built his strong brick house and outsmarted the big bad wolf. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Wow, what a fun adventure, kids. There are so many more amazing and exciting stories from all around the world that we'll explore in the next videos. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on new stories. See you in the next video. Just that we all